it's important to point out that the Christian trinity differs in its finer details when compared to these other cults. However, this basic concept of three related divinities is common to all of them and is fundamentally pagan. Do you know what an association fallacy is? Because you're committing one. This is an informal fallacy, where one assumes the qualities of one thing are inherently the qualities of another thing, because of irrelevant associations. This would be like, I don't know, assuming the three persons of God are pagan, because you found in pagan literature that sometimes three deities are grouped together. It'd be just as fallacious if I said the god of Islam is really an ancient pagan moon deity, because Islam is sometimes symbolized with a crescent moon. Islam merely being associated with the moon does not mean it comes from paganism. That would be an association fallacy. And likewise, Christianity being associated with the number three does not mean it comes from paganism. The ancient Egyptians had the trinity of Amun, Re, and Ta. An Egyptian hymn reads, All gods are three, Amun, Re, and Ta. This actually comes from the Leyden Papyrus, which dates to the 3rd century AD. Jan Osman comments on this text, doesn't even remotely suggest it's anything like the Christian trinity, and says that we can easily discern here the three dimensions of polytheistic theology, name, cosmic appearance, and cultic embodiment, in the statue, dwelling in the temple, ruling a city. These three dimensions, however, are encompassed and transcended by one God who is referred to as only He. In other words, these are three aspects of one God. These are not three co-eternal persons of one God. This is nothing like the Trinity. It'd be more like partialism or modalism. Babylonians worship the Trinity of Nana, Shamash, and Ishtar. <laughs> no, they didn't. They worshipped an array of gods. No one ever called these three a Trinity. Hinduism has the concept of Trimurti, in which the supreme god, Brahman, is said to manifest as the three forms, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. This is a late concept in Hinduism. It doesn't show up to at least 300 years after Christ. And it means three representations of the one god. So again, it's more like modalism, not Trinitarianism. The Greeks had the goddess Hecate, whom they described as triple-headed. Yeah, because she's one goddess with three heads. Are you even trying at this point? The Romans venerated Diana as Diva Triformis, which means three-formed goddess. Yeah, this refers to her three forms or three roles. It's more like modalism. Diana as Huntress, Diana as Moon, Diana of the Underworld. Northwestern European tribes worshipped a group of three female deities known as Matrone. You know, they also worship the moon deity, and Islam has the moon symbol. Coincidence? I think not! Your entire argument is ridiculous because it's nothing more than an association fallacy. If you want to say the Trinity comes from paganism, you need to show a direct causal link. 